Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are enjoying my content, why not consider subscribing to my channel and uh, being a part of my YouTube family. So I hope you're all doing well today. As for me, um, like I mentioned in my last video, I haven't gone shopping in over a week. So that um, Dollarama Christmas items and this Dollar Tree one have been sitting waiting for me. So I haven't left the house at all um, in over a week. Like we're talking 10 days here, but um, I'd rather stay at home, get better. And uh, I feel safer too, because I don't want to be going out on my own in case I do have a fall or something because my illness is flared up right now. And uh, it's not fun to deal with. But anyways, enough about that. You guys came to see what I picked up at Dollar Tree. So the day I was in, they actually had new um, Halloween items out. So uh, they had these beautiful little um, pumpkins. I really don't know what they're made of, but they look wood. So I bought two. I believe they were $1.50 each. I don't have my receipt with me, but how pretty are those? So I got a bigger one and a little one. And then we bought, we mean me. Um, I bought two this color. Just look at how pretty these are together. Nice natural wood. So at least I'll have them for next, next, uh, you know, fall Thanksgiving to put out as well. And I picked up two of the bigger ones in that color too. So they didn't have many in the brown left, but just look at that. That's really pretty together. So we did get those. I believe they were $1.50. Everything's going up to $1.50. I saw these guys for the first time and they remind me of the ones that I picked up at Dollarama last year. They're up on my fireplace here. Do you remember the skeletons doing their exercises? Well, I found this guy, $1.50, and I found this guy. So yeah, they'll be going up there, added on. How cute are they? Look at the backs too. They're adorable. I love them. So I got those two guys for Halloween. Now, before I move on, because the rest of it is Christmas, I believe, I just want to show you that, uh, and they do still have these. So I picked up a couple of these little, um, they're ceramic, little uh, signs, and it just says on it, uh, glasses so I can actually read. You know what's crazy? I can read a sign, you know, a mile away, but I can't read what's right in front of me. All right. It says, add your own message. Use a marker or paint pen to customize your plaque sold separately. So, I, you know, it's kind of giving a little example there off to use it for a wedding or something, but this is what I made with mine. I got my Cricut out and I made this last week. So how do you like that? It says October 31. So I am going to, and it, I made two because uh, I put one in my tray my tiered tray in my craft room and the other one went in the kitchen tiered tray so I'm gonna make some little Christmas ones as well I think I have um two or three of these left so that's what I'm gonna do with those but I thought I would just show you that how I created you know something so plain into this yeah so that is that little DIY I'm always bad for sharing my DIYs because there's people out there that do beautiful DIYs, explain it all step by step. And uh, I just, I go into my room and I'm in my little zone and I just craft away. So I don't record for that reason. Anyways, what was this I found? Oh, okay. This was a paper strip pack and it's showing that you can punch it out. There's 24 sheets in it. So I bought the pink. It's two sided paper strips. Ideal for punching and die cutting projects. So I bought the pink. It's pink and blue. Those are my two colors. And there's 24 sheets. American Crafts. I just want to see if it is cardstock. Because it's calling it paper strips. Let's have a look. They had other colors too. But I, I grabbed this just so I could make sure. Oh yes. That is cardstock, and that's one sheet. It's pink on that side and blue on the other. So that's gonna be great for card making. 
So we'll just put that right back in there. So that was a pretty good deal. I believe it was $1.50. I'm not finding too many $1.25 items other than, um, say, their chocolate and stuff. Speaking of chocolate, oh, I see my receipt in here too. Okay. I bought this uh, Reese's Big Cup with potato chips. If you remember, I uh, hauled this. I had bought it in the States and then I did a taste test. So there you go. We have them in Canada now at Dollar Tree. Now let's have a look because I just found my receipt here. Uh, so yeah, the skeletons, everything was $1.50. So were the pumpkins, uh, my chocolate bar. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, right there. $1.25. So the chocolate bar was $1.25. There we go. All right. What else did we buy? I bought uh, more stickers. <laughs> I thought that these were really nice. It says refresh, be kind, breathe, happy, and dream, and a little heart. So it's a 24 piece. And I believe I'm thinking the only thing on this whole receipt was um yeah the chocolate bar everything else was a dollar fifty so there you go these are really nice it's by uh willow i can't read that one canoe two so we'll be crafting with those i bought two more of the stencils because i know some of you do not have a uh Dollar Tree in your area and I'm behind on doing my giveaways because I should have done one at my 300 subscriber limit there so um, I will probably do one really soon so I got I'm just counting to see how many I got all right I did buy these all for you guys so I did buy the farm fresh so I bought four of those to put away for giveaways it's a stencil and then I picked up this one. It's good to be home, wash and dry. So I don't think I have that one. So I did get one of those. I bought two actually. So one will be to put away in the giveaway, which I hope to do by the end of this week. I really do. Oh my goodness. I'm sitting on the floor, not so comfortable. <clears throat> and then I bought window decor. Why does it look like some of these have moved? They have. All right, so they've actually come off the backing there. The candy canes moved, and so is the... I'm going to have to open it up and fix that. But anyway, window decor. I love crafting with these. If you're putting them on a piece of wood or whatever, just hot glue them on, and then they won't fall off or any type of glue, actually. So, yeah, Santa. A little bit, and I love... There's my red truck. You know I bought it for the red truck. <laughs> so we got that. Now some ornaments that were hanging up there and I don't buy them to put on my tree. I buy them for, this guy's gonna sit in a tiered tray as well. A cute little Christmas owl. It says ornament, so he's got the twine to hang them, but I'll be using him as a decor piece, probably in another tiered tray so I can fill up my tiered trays. Got that. I was trying to get these last year and I don't think I found them um they sold out real fast so i bought the skis this one says ski lift and i saw a diy using these so i have an idea that i'm going to be copying it and then they have it in the uh the white ski lift now in dollarama they are putting so much glitter on everything i'm not a fan of glitter because it gets everywhere this is a big piece of glue stick but it has it has um just a little bit of glitter we're trying to stay away from the glitter it's everywhere then i saw these um they're metal really like those they another ornament you get one piece and it says joy with the reindeer now i have in mind i'm going to make one um wreath with uh, the deer that I purchased, um, it's not in this haul, I hauled it before. But anyway, I'm going to paint it because it's full of glitter. And we're going to do a deer-themed wreath because I bought those pillow covers at um, Dollar Tree. No, sorry, this is Dollar Tree. I bought them at Dollarama 
and they had the red and black in them so yeah we're gonna put this theme in the sunroom i think it's gonna look really nice so i bought that to diy with all right oh i got these guys from halloween uh they're round cupcake toppers and they are edible icing sheets so i grabbed two because where are six pieces so i can make 12 um cupcakes and pop these on the top and we can uh have some halloween cupcakes my husband and i love halloween we love decorating and i used to get all dressed up but now i just wear my halloween like whatever leggings and whatever i have so here is the six that you get all right so you just get doubles off the uh pumpkin and the skull and the little black cat in the uh, pumpkin so those are cute so we will bake some cupcakes coming up this weekend uh we're only one week away from the trick-or-treaters arriving i saw this twine and uh it's always good to have different colors of this in stock uh in your stash i mean in stock <laughs> yep i got to uh stock the craft room so it's 20 yards and it's baker's twine and i bought it in orange for halloween colors and uh i bought it in black which can use any time of the year right so i grabbed two of those to stick in my uh, ribbon collection and i did buy some cards uh i hope to do another uh, card exchange with all of you that would like to uh to do that you can also craft with these and create your own cards because these are an excellent price. You get 12 Christmas cards for um, $1.50. I just love this one. Love the red cardinal on it. And inside it says, sending you and yours all the best this holiday season. So we got that one. It was so hard to choose. <laughs> My favorite. Definitely going to frame this one. The red truck. Now I did buy two of those. They are my favorite. And this one says, wishing you a Christmas full of all the simple pleasures this season can bring. So I love the sentiment inside this as well. Very nice. Good job, Dollar Tree. So we got two of those. Love good old Santa Claus. Say a Merry Christmas and checking his list. Says, hope your holiday is full of wonder. That's another nice card. And then we got Seasons Greetings and just the traditional Christmas tree. And this is how I generally decorate my tree with the red. So it says, may the warmth and wonder of the holidays be yours. So right on the back is where you'll see the sentiment that's inside. 12 cards for a dollar fifty is really good. They didn't have the premium cards out yet because I tend to pick up those as well. If you um, even do junk journaling or pocket letters or pel pen pal, whatever, cut these up and use them in your crafting. Excellent to have. So I bought one too. So that was five packs that I bought of Christmas cards. So that is it, my friends. This is everything that I bought at Dollar Tree. And uh, I hope to get some crafting done this week and possibly out shopping again to see what's new. There's a couple of uh, items that I have on my wish list for Dollar Tree now, so I'm hoping that they didn't sell out last week. But anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, whenever you're watching this, and I will catch you all on my next video. Take care for now. Bye!